If you want to support the platform, just in case anything like this happens again, you can do it by way of PayPal, Patreon, uh, Cash App, and also by um, the Anchor. And you can also further support the platform by way of going to the uh, the Teespring store or um, the shoe store that is located in the comment section below. H high school teacher and assistant basketball coach accused of indecent liberties with a student is facing new charges as police continue to investigate. Mark Johnson Jr., age 34, was initially charged with two counts of first degree SR and two counts of indecent liberties on February 24th. On Monday, Johnson was charged with two more counts of indecent liberties and two counts of SR and SO. Quote, there has been information now as far as Mr. Johnson grabbing the victim's backside, having relations with her, having appropriate text messages with her as well. Again, as the officers are going through her phone and continuing to interview her, more information is coming forward. Johnson began working at Page High School on August 16th of 2022, according to public information requests filed with the school district. He resigned from his position at Page on Wednesday. Records state that the new charges stem from offenses in December of 2022 and February 4th of 2023. According to court records, the parents of the girl realized Johnson has sent text messages to their daughter asking her to meet him outside of their home at 1.13 a.m. The parents were home and say that their daughter left the house stating that she had to get basketball gear out of the car. Shortly after, Greensboro Police Department detectives began investigating and Johnson was put on leave from Page High School. Johnson sent text messages to the student telling them to delete everything. However, the girl saved text he had sent her originally. Officers state that they saw illicit photos and videos from another student on Johnson's phone as well and a second student as reportedly engaging in activity with Johnson claiming that Johnson told her, this is not my first time. Guilford County Schools stated that the district conducts criminal background and reference checks for all newly hired employees. Additionally, the district requires that any suspicion of misconduct is reported to law enforcement. Following a background check, Mark Johnson Jr. had no charge or convictions related to misconduct prior to February 24th of 2023. Johnson worked as a substitute teacher at Andrew High School, Eastern Guilford High School, Smith High School, Mendel Hall Middle School, and Sternberg Elementary School from March 2017 to April of 2018. From August of 2018 to July of 2019, he worked as a CTE teacher at Allen J. Preparatory Academy. He resigned from that position as well. According to Thompson, detectives located a 2019 report in which, quote, there were allegations of some inappropriate conduct with Mr. Johnson. However, Mr. Johnson resigned from the school system and the allegations went nowhere and then was hired back into Guilford County school system. The 2019 allegations did not lead to charges, but Thompson states that detectives are going back to investigate that report. Johnson was later rehired in August of 2022 at Page High School. He also worked as a girls varsity basketball assistant coach from the fall of 2022 to the winter of 2023. The school later stated this in a statement, quote, student safety is very important to us and this kind of behavior will simply not be tolerated at Page High School or in Guilford County Schools. GCS and Page High Schools have cooperated fully with law enforcement on the investigation throughout this process. We will continue to provide support to the Page campus. As well, Johnson is being held on a bond listed at $2 million. So I just wanna reinstate that over the years that I've done stories like this, I've made sure to make it clear that parents need to have conversations with their kids. I'm not saying that you have to be your child's best friend. Uh, I'm, I'm not saying that you got to be the cool parent, anything like that. I'm stating that just out of the, the time that you have, 
Stop being selfish, going out there, trying to live your best life, going out there, drinking with your friends and, and spending time and all this and acting like you don't got time for your kids, acting like they're annoying you as if they've, they've caused, you know, the things in your life and actually be there for your kids. Be responsible for one time in your life, because this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like when you're not responsible. This is what it looks like when you're a parent or I'm sorry, <laughs> this is what it looks like when you're an adult and you're not really present in your child's life. You just allow things to skate by. And because you have your child or your children not really getting the attention that they want from you, they're going to seek that attention out from other adults. And that's what you're looking at. You're looking at these two students, these two teenagers going out there seeking the attention of this male, grown male, 30 some years old supposed to be you know a protector supposed to be a coach supposed to be a teacher and that's not what he's doing because he saw what was going on and he decided to engage in it he could have very easily been like hey this ain't even let me you know let me go you know let people know you know some of the you know some of the students here ain't you know really on the up and up they're not really here to learn yada 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 nah he decided that he saw what was going on he engaged directly with it. He had conversations with them, leading the whole thing on. At the end of the day, he caused the situation. Irregardless of the two students looking for attention, which they should be just getting attention from their family. You know, the people that love them, the people that's going to nurture them, the people that's going to care for them, the people that are going to, you know, cherish and, and be there whenever it is that they do, um, you know, positive things or, or whenever it's time for a celebration, uh, whenever they have their first go at, you know, hey, I just got my master's, I just got my bachelor's, you know, I got my first job, my first car, I passed my driver's test, you know, the, the, the people that are going to support you realistically through that. Instead of them getting that love and that support and that attention to things that they are missing, they decided to look for that in a whole nother person that never had their best interest for them at all. And this is the main thing that I try to tell parents before is, is that you have a lot of these individuals that are amongst your kids. And they're there due to the fact that they know what is easy access. They can easily get the trust of the children because the children ain't going to trust you. Your kids ain't going to trust you. They're not going to talk to you about stuff, but they'll make sure to come to that teacher. They'll make sure to come to that other adult that they feel or that they're assuming is their friend, that they're assuming has the best interest directly for them, that they've uh, uh, talked for so long and there's some type of bond or some type of, you know, trust there. They'll make sure to talk to them. This is why I simply just tell parents like, yo, spend time with your kids, play video games, listen to music, take walks, go, 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 go biking, uh, go to the movies. I might have said that twice. But like I said, just just spend time with your kids. Let them know that you are there. Let them know that you are present. Let them know that you're just not an adult that is just here. Because a lot of a lot of quote unquote parents ain't even really parents and it shows. When, you, when I look at a lot of these stories, when I look at social media, it's not realistically the kid's fault. It's the environment that they're raised in is by way and due to the fact of the parents, the adults who are supposed to be responsible, not really being responsible and not really being parents. Because a lot of people producing kids right now are still children. And that goes for people who are in their 30s, 40s and 50s. In some words, even further than that. Because far too many times I've seen parents out here on social media talking about, oh, well, uh, you know, you know, the, the, the child is basically, you know, these kids, they, they you know, they weighing me down. They stopping me from being great and all this other time. No, no, no. You stopped yourself. Because at the end of the day, no child ever asked to be here. It's the fact that you decided to be irresponsible as an adult and lay with somebody unprotected, which then later ended up producing that child. So now it is your responsibility to no longer be selfish, to throw all of that stuff away that used to be you, that you used to want, that you used to want to do, and now start doing for that child. Because if not, then that child is going to end up being another better version of you. And when I mean better, I mean a worse off version, a more uncontrollable version, a more mouthy 
version, a more unruly version. And then parents want to start throwing their arms up, start talking, Jesus, take the will. Which makes no sense because if you would have just sat down, you would have just been thinking with your brain or you would have just ended up closing your legs like you should have. Guess what? None of this would have sat up there and taken place. But again, we got sections of adults out here that are quote unquote adults, not really adults. You're just big kids with grown responsibilities. And you decided to take a illogical and an irrational course. And then a child was born directly from that. And now you don't want to be responsible. And I'm talking about both men and women. Because if you guys are actually in your kids' lives, I would never have to do stories like this. I would never have to report on things like this. We really wouldn't even hear of things. These would be actual rarities because kids would have families. Kids would have that 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 unit. They would have, you know, that protection from both sides. They would have that love from both sides. But due to the fact that the adults or quote unquote the parents that are raising kids were never raised in that same circumstance. Now you have generational curses. And this is how these individuals like this, like this quote unquote coach, this teacher, this guardian, who's supposed to watch out for your kids. This is how he uses that ability, that blind faith in order to get his own selfish needs directly out of the situation. So at the end of the day, if you are a parent, actually be a parent. If not, give those kids up to somebody who can actually be a parent and who can do a way better job than you. But the problem with that is a lot of adults can't admit when it is that they're wrong. 